Let's bring him in tonight. Joining me in New York City, family law attorney, managing partner at matrimonial law firm Berkman, Botger, Newman and Shine. Jacqueline Newman is with us. In law Whew, glad you're all here. Um, let's let's uh, Jacqueline, let me start here with the, the timeline here, right? We've been watching this trial and hearing about all these fights, fingers being severed, things being thrown, yet it isn't until they are separated that someone goes to court and police respond. Is that usual or unusual in a matrimonial breakup? And what does it tell us about the credibility of those claims? Yeah, I, I, I can't say that I'm shocked by it by any means. Um, I do believe from just what I've seen so far and what I've heard is that this probably was a ploy to strengthen any kind of future divorce case that she was having. I mean, if any of this was happening and there was violence, there would have been reports before, there would have been something. I mean, it is kind of a coincidence that, you know, days later, all of a sudden she decides that she's gonna go running to court and get a protective order and start the divorce and everything she was doing from there. So, I mean, I hate to be so skeptical and, and but. You guys are in it. You guys live this stuff every day. You've seen a lot, Lamar. Uh, I know you've seen a lot. I don't know if you've ever seen what Johnny Depp saw in his bed. Um, <laughs> but is that the type of thing that people that are going at it, that it's just a, like a war of the roses, to use a cliche, that things like this could happen? They always could happen. Did they happen in this case? We don't know. And I think something to remember is Amber Heard obtained a de temporary restraining order against Johnny Depp. There's no finding of domestic violence by that order, right? So we're looking at the evidence now. I don't like the way she entered the elevator with her friends. Two days later, did she really need to be protected from Johnny Depp? It's unclear. Yeah. Uh, John Delatore, let me just ask you about what this fight was about. How, you know, and I don't know if it's tr I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it was one of those little dogs we saw on the body cam or if it was someone else. Um, but, but to me, that gets to how bad this relationship was at this point. Either someone did it or someone thought someone would do it. Yeah, and I think it's the second one that someone thought someone had done it. And that shows a level of paranoia, a level of mistrust that was corrupting this entire relationship. So absolutely, could they have conspired to do this thing? I think it's pretty outlandish, but it's certainly possible. But I also think that it's it's more likely that they, someone thought or someone tried to make a joke and they end up taking it too far. Now, I want you to listen to Johnny Depp give his version of what happened. We heard what Amber Heard's attorney uh,